I'm Tom Mudd, and I'm the owner of Cinnabar, and I'd uh, have my name on the bottle, except I was advised that, that Mud wine probably wasn't going to cut it out in the marketplace, and Cinnabar was uh, an inspirational material to the alchemists of the 13th century. So as the, the alchemist of the 13th century was interested in converting base metals into, into gold, a miraculous transformation, here we're engaged in the equally miraculous transformation of rainwater into wine with the intervention of a grapevine. Because our vineyards are dry farmed, it is literally rainwater that is converted into wine. As we're about an hour south of San Francisco, we overlook the southern end of San Francisco Bay, Silicon Valley. Yet when you drive up our driveway, you leave urban America behind and you enter into a different realm, an entirely different place where uh, we are repeating the process that has been done for generations, for centuries before us, and that is growing grapes and making wine. It's a very pastoral activity. I've been vineyard manager and estate manager here at Cinnabar Vineyards for 18 years now. To me, what's important to make a great wine uh, begins in the vineyard. Um, you know, for, for wine grape growers, I think uh, the wine is made in the vineyard. The four most important ingredients in making a quality wine are climate, soil, clone choice, or selection, and people. We need a cool region, and that produces the best grapes, it retains acids and flavors and colors. The soil is so important. The soil in the mountains tends to be a little thinner. Over the thousands of years, Mother Nature has washed a lot of the topsoil down to the valleys. So we up here in the mountains have about a foot to foot and a half thick of topsoil. So our vines are leaner and thus it's a more concentrated, smaller berry, more concentrated flavors. We tend the vines here uh, vine by vine and we look at each individual vine and say what did it offer to us last year and we prune to balance that individual vine uh, each year. To be part of this mountain top you learn right away that you cannot control the mountaintop. You have to work with it. You have to be in harmony with it. So I've always practiced sustainable agriculture from the get-go. I've never had to spray insecticides up here. Just to be in balance with the vineyard and with the mountaintop. We grow grapes vine by vine. And in making wine here, we make wine barrel by barrel. What I try to do is to allow the vineyard to dictate what it wants to do. And I think by doing that, then I will truly represent the site or I would truly maximize the potential of the site if I allow the vineyard to come through in the wines and not try to modify too much. Quality to me is expressing more of the varietal character in the wine. Quality to me is making a bottle of wine that truly expresses terroir, the site, the, the vineyard, the soil, the climate. And the closer we get to that, the closer we get to truly expressing an individual characteristic, the Santa Cruz Mountains, I think that in itself means that we're making better wines because we're making more unique wines and we're truly taking from the site what it has to offer. When you smell Cinnabar wine, I want there to be a variety of aromas and flavors coming at you at the same time. My name is Suzanne Franz, and I'm the sales and marketing manager here at Cinnabar Vineyards and Winery. And in my past five years here at Cinnabar, I've learned what fine winemaking is, and it's learning about your environment. And what we try and do is take that environment and express it in quality in every bottle of our wine. In every bottle of Cinnabar wine I open, I get the spirit of the site here. Uh, block by block, acre by acre, vine by vine are really reflected in the bottle. My hope is to make the best bottle of wine that's ever been made in California. Mm -hmm.